Hello guys, I am Roosevelt and in this video, I will be showing you how to design a music poster in Adobe Photoshop. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So I have my images here. I will drag and drop the model onto my Photoshop. Nice. So now that I have my model over here, let's add some guides. So I'll go to view, guides, and select new guide layout. Right here, let's set the guide, let's set the left guide to the left margin to 70 and set the right margin also to 70 and click on OK. When you are done, right click here and select object selection. With the object selection to active, draw around the model to make a selection of it. So gently draw around the model. Now let's wait for Photoshop to make the selection for us. Perfect. So now we have our selection. So with the, with the selection ready, just press Command J or Control J to cut it out. Right click on the cutout layer. And select convert to smart objects with that done go to filter and select camera raw filter so in the camera raw filter let's set the contrast to 16 now let's move on to effects under effects let's set the texture to 33 and let's set clarity to 28 now let's move on to detail under detail set sharpening to 80 noise reduction to 40 and then color noise reduction to 10 and click on ok so you can see that we've added some effect to uh, like we've enhanced our image a little bit now that we are done with that let's add a gradient map so click here and select gradient map over here left click once over here and then let's set our first color so double click here and let's give it a color code of 330 d69 and click on ok now let's set the second color so double click here and let's give it a color code of ffa 800 and click on ok nice so now we can select these two layers press command g or control g to group them and then name them bg that's background so now let's select our text our type 2 and then let's type out our words so let's go with music so let me increase the size nice and then i like to change the color and then the font the font stuff i'll change the font the font called anthem anthem regular and set this side to minus 40. nice now let me change the color from black to white and what I'll do is I'll just resize my music text. So let's go something like this. Let me reduce this side a little bit. Now what I'll do is I'll reduce the opacity so I can see through the text. Then I'll position the text well. So I'll place it somewhere here. When I'm done, I'll push the opacity all the way back to 100. Nice. So now open the background group with the text layer selected. Hold down Command or Control key and left click in the cutout models layer to activate the selection. So now that the selection is active, make sure the music test layer is still selected. And then hold down your Option or Alt key and left click here once to add the layer mask to it 
let's say maybe after holding down the alt or option key and then clicking this side you got something like this you got something like this don't panic all you need to do is that make sure the layer max is selected and then press command i or control i to invert the selection okay so now let's duplicate our music text right click and delete the layer mask once the layer mask is deleted set the fill to zero percent then go to fx and select stroke over here set the stroke size to two and change the color to white yeah this is okay then click on okay over here and set the position to center then click on okay now we have something like this let's select these two text layers press command g or control g to group them and name them empty that's main text now select the type to once again and let's type the remaining text so music is everything nice let's place it here now let's zoom in a little bit sound like this is okay for me and then i would like to change the font for this text so i'll go with a font called monstrat so i'll be going with monstrat extra bold then i'll toggle this thing on to make everything caps let me place it somewhere here press command t or control t and reduce the size of the it's everything text yeah so this is okay for me so now that i'm done i'll select these two texts press command your control g to group them and then rename them into info so i know that this part this group contains the info so now what i'll do is i'll import my vintage image press command t or control t hold down my shift key and then rotate it this way nice now if you're on if you're on mac hold down shift option and drag it this way but then if you are on windows hold down shift and alt then let's do the same thing for this side as well perfect now what we do is let's change the blend mode for the vintage image so let's change it from normal to soft light nice and then let's add some curves adjustment layer so in the curves property left click here and then drag it down let's create some kind of a weird s shape then let's go with something like this nice when you are done select this side and then set its opacity to 50 percent now let's select these two layers press command g or control g to group them and let's name them effects so now we know that this group contains our effects the effects that we've we've added to our flyer now the last thing to do is to import our logo so let's add our logo so i'll drag and drop the logo here then i'll drag it down press command to control t and resize the logo i'll be placing the logo somewhere here let me reduce something like this is okay for me but then i would like to push it up a little bit this is okay but then when you check this side the orange part is in showing well so meaning i would like us to change that side also to white so let's add some color overlay so go to fx and select color overlay and let's set the color to white and click on ok now press command g or control g to group it and let's name it logo nice now we are done with our flyer okay guys so this is how to design a music poster in adobe photoshop
if you like this video and then you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so also like comment and share with others